Hello, and welcome to Stan Twitter in podcast form. You're listening to The Biased Critic. I am your host, Kat, and today I'm going to be doing an album breakdown on the new 21 Pilots album called Scaled and Icy. Um, I know last week I had a part one of a two-part episode um, I kind of forgot that there was going to be a new album it, days after I posted that. So I decided that I'm going to post part two next week. So this week you're getting my album breakdown. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. Um, yeah. So... Unlike the last time I did an album breakdown when the Fearless re-recording by Taylor Swift came out, um, I didn't record, like, an initial reaction. I actually have listened to this album a few times now. Um, and a lot of times, especially with 21 Pilots albums, after a couple listens, they definitely hit me differently than the initial listen through um but I kind of just wanted to listen to it a couple times see how I felt about it and then go from there because it's unlike when I did fearless um this is like all new music rather than just re-recordings of course so I wanted to give it like some more time to like marinate within myself um and really form an opinion on it and like I said it takes me a long time it takes me a few listens to really determine how I feel about some music or albums sometimes especially with 21 Pilots I will listen to it once and or the first time I mean and like either love it or hate it and then after a couple listens I might change my opinion on it so um I know there's a lot of opinions on this album especially given some political issues but uh, I'm not gonna worry about that but I am going to talk about um the uh, public or the general opinion of this album um and then verse and like compare that to my own opinion on this album so yeah anyways now we can officially begin um so i'm just gonna take you track by track um so the uh opener is of course good day um this is the song that everybody uh hates well, one of the two songs that really buddy, everybody is not a fan of. I honestly really love this song. And I know that's kind of silly because it's kind of goofy. Um, to me, it starts off like sounding like in the first few seconds. It really sounds like it, a 21 Pilots song. Like it sounds like it would could have been like um something they may have like just the intro itself may have been something they made for trench uh that's kind of what it reminded me of um kind of sounded real body but then it turns into like literally the opening track to a musical um which i like it it's so different and i think it's fun and catchy and cute and i like it my cat is trying so hard to rub his little head on the microphone and i'm just like bro you can't it doesn't work that way anyways um so I really like the music to it like I said it sounds like the opening track to a musical I think it's so cute um I don't like I called it the hello fellow kids language um in the lyrics like I don't like that he kept saying low-key um, and then in the second verse, he says, homie just sued me. Uh, I thought that was kind of goofy. Uh, wasn't so like that trying to sound hip with the, the teenage audience didn't thrill me, but 
you could I could overlook it. Um, so I gave this song a seven out of ten. Um, I really I really like it. I want to I want to like tap dance to it. Um, okay. Uh, next song is Choker. Um, and I think this sounds like a galactic robot, especially in the intro. I think it sounds like a galactic a space robot. Um, I really love the lyrics, especially in comparison to uh, some of the other songs. I think it has a nice lyrical meaning. Um, I love the breakdown and the piano in the bridge and the final chorus. And then the unexpected rap at the end is very uh, enjoyable. I think the rap reminds me kind of of Addict with a Pen. Um, And that's one of my favorite 21 Pilots songs, Addict with a Pen. Um, But I just, I love when Tyler raps. um, And I wish there was more rapping on this album. I also wish there was more screaming on this album. Um, Which, speaking of which, I'm not going to talk about Shy Away in this episode. Because I talked about it when it first came out in a different episode. Um, But yeah, that was something that I mentioned in the episode with shy away is that i hope that there was more screaming and i didn't see a lot of that on this out al- on the album like i hoped but that's okay i can't you can't always get what you want <laughs> but anyways i really really like this one i think it is Probably my top five um, of songs on this album. I gave this one a 9 out of 10. Um, The next song is, since like I said, I'm skipping um, Shy Away. Um, The next song is The Outside. Um, And so like I did the last time I did an album breakdown, I just kind of took notes as I went through and listened to it. So the first thing I I said on this note for this song is, beep bop motherfuckers because <laughs> that's what it sounds like in the intro just beep bop and it's kind of cute um and then the rap on this song which i guess saying that there's not a lot of rap and then saying that there's a uh, of song a rap on two songs in a row is kind of sounds misleading but anyways the rap on this song reminded me of Pet Cheetah, which for the longest time, I hated that song. I hated it. And then I saw it live and it grew on me. Um, but I liked the rap on this one a lot. Um, I didn't like the fact that he kept saying the kids were trying to steal his vibes. I thought that was weird. Again, hello fellow kids type situation. So I gave that song a 6 out of 10. Um, The next song is Saturday. Which I don't know how common of a um, complaint this was. um, As far as like this song and this album goes. But I saw it um, a little bit on the internet when the album first. Or when the song first dropped at least. Was that people were mad that they stole a song title from fallout boy which um i will defend fallout boy as we all are well aware by this point i will defend fallout boy until death until my death they do not own the word saturday though um other people can use the word saturday as a song title um and that being said, there's also a Taylor Swift song called The Outside, um, uh, which is, she, she doesn't own that either. They, so anyone is free to use The Outside as well as Saturday. That is a dumb uh, critique saying that they, there is already a song called Saturday. Um, I'm sorry, that's just a dumb thing to harp on. However, this song, not my favorite. Um, t- the, the songs about Jenna Joseph, Tyler Joseph's wife, obviously, have 
never been that good. Um, <laughs> and I, I'm saying that as a lover of, you know, love songs. This song is not, none, Tyler does not, um, his, uh, expertise is not in writing love songs. Um, Tear in My Heart was okay at best, um, and Smithereens was also not good. So, yes, this song sounds like it could be in an old navy, um, but none of the, the, the Jenna songs have ever been that good. Like, I, yeah, that's what I have to say about that. And also the end, the end of the song where, um, at the ver the end chorus and he says, make it loud. I don't like that there's like that pause before loud. It sounds like a skipping record or something to me. Um, but it does, it is like, it's one of those songs where if you know that if you're out, you know, dancing or whatever, you're, you're gonna dance to it. It's definitely a white girl dance song. And is that, is that great for a 21 Pilots song? Maybe not. Probably not. But is it fun for a song in general? Sure. Why not? But again, none of the Jenna songs have ever been that good. So I'm rating that one a 4 out of 10. <clears throat> the next song on the album is Never Take It. Um, at first listen, this song kind of was just kind of like, meh to me. Um, and it still hasn't quite grown on me, honestly. Although I went and actually like read through the lyrics. Um, I can't tell if he's trying to be political or what he's trying to say in this song. If he's trying to like I said, be political or just sing about being in quarantine again. It could go either way for me. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it one way or the other. I think I would, pref if it's one of those two options, I'd prefer to him trying to be political than doing another quarantine song. Because, you know, that's kind of what Good Day sounded like to me. Um, plus, then, you know... We had, um, what the heck was that song? Why can I never remember the name of that song? Level of Concern, which I did like Level of Concern a lot more. And I wish the album kind of had that song on there at least. Um, so yeah, never take it. Meh, it's okay. If you're listening from cover to cover... It's definitely not a skip, but if I listen, would I listen to it if it came on shuffle? Um, I would be less likely. Uh, so I rated this one a 5 out of 10. The next song on the album is Mulberry Street, and holy fuck, I am obsessed with this song. It's, um, again, on my notes here, I wrote, 21 Pilots made an Elton John song and I am here for it. This, I don't really know what they're trying to say in this song, if I'm being completely honest. But I adore it. It is so catchy. It is so fun. It is so adorable. And I love it so much. It is definitely also in my top five, probably in my top three on this album. It's just, I just, I can't get enough of it. It's so cute. I love it so much. Um, and that leads me to my next, the, my next song. It's not my song. The next song, Formidable, um, which is not my favorite. Uh, it's kind of easy listening. Honestly, this one is definitely a skip for me. Um, but yeah, 
I mean, it's not like it's a bad song. It's just not really... It's not really memorable. But, uh... Yeah. So, I'm writing that. Originally, I wrote a 4 out of 10. But, honestly, I don't think I would even be that nice to it. Because, I mean, again, it's not a bad song. It's just like, meh, skip. Anyways, Bounce Man. Um... When I read the title of that song, I thought it was going to be like, um, Message Man, uh, part two, but it's definitely not that. Uh, and I feel like Tyler Joseph harbored a fugitive in quarantine. And I'm kind of here for it because we got this hilarious song. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be hilarious. Like, is it supposed to be a no body, no crime-esque song? I'm not sure, but that's how I took it. And I l- really enjoyed it. I think it's so fun. Um, yeah, it makes me laugh. I'm not, again, I'm not sure if, if that's what they're going for here, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Tyler Joseph harbored a fugitive during quarantine, wrote this song, and yeah, that is all. Anyways, that one I gave a 7 out of 10. Um, No chances. Um, This song immediately was iconic. It's definitely a classic 21 Pilot song. Um, I could s- totally listen to the song. I could totally see it if, you know, if and when they take this album on tour. This could be like, um, like an intermission type song where, like, I don't know, like during a change of something, the. Ba- the the no chances from the deep voice part that would be playing and then like um last tour they did a song I can't remember which song it was off the top of my head in this very moment but they did a song um karaoke for the audience and I feel like this would be that for this tour and um, I love the outro, and I'm about to tell you why. I give this one an 8 out of 10. And the reason I love the outro is because of the transition into the final song on this album, Redecorate. Holy forking shirt balls. I <laughs> love this song so much. Definitely my favorite song in the album. Possibly, like, a favorite new favorite 21 pilot song even like it is so friggin good i can't get over it literally i wrote in my notes i cry every time um because it's just so good and the lyrics are oops i just smacked the microphone sorry um the lyrics are very 21 pilots of course and i know that a lot of people um wanted the album to be more like this song or and or no chances um and i mean i definitely don't disagree with that request um but anyways redecorate 10 out of 10 it's my favorite on this album for sure um so overall I give this album out of 10, um, it's hard, honestly, because it's like, (laughs) do I, if I were to rate it as an album, I would give it like a 7 out of 10, but as a 21 Pilots album specifically, I would probably rate it a little bit lower. Say like a 5 out of 10. Um, just because, is it their best album? Absolutely not. Is it my favorite 21 Pilots album? Again, no. Um, but is it a decent album? Yeah, it is. There's only, to me in my opinion, there's only a couple songs 
um, formidable and never take it that are really not well and of course Saturday but again it's a Jenna song it's not gonna be great Tyler Joseph does not do love sto- like do love songs like other artists do but he tries he wants to and that's fine let the, let the guy be in love okay let the guy be fucking happy who cares we don't have to like it we just have to take it anyways that being said so really i'm gonna say there's only two songs that are absolute skips on that this album and that would be never take it and formidable like i just said and therefore as an album it's a pretty decent album in my opinion but as a 21 pilots album it's less favorable just because it's yes it's very different from what we're used to from them and but then again they kind of change their sound up a lot throughout their albums but they always kind of have at the same time have a similar format and you kind of lack that like if we had an album with more songs like redecorate no chances choker even shy away i think if we had more songs that sounded like that musically i think it would be a lot more favored by the general public and by the fans i also think if good day didn't open the album i totally i totally as from an artist's not not that i'm saying like i am an artist but i totally say see from the artist's point of view why they chose good day as an album opener it is a great album opener for a pop album that's what it is it's a pop album and i think people are kind of butthurt that they really went in the poppy direction honestly because Blurry, when Blurry Face came out, people were like, 21 Pilots became huge and people became, like, a lot, their their fan base grew quite a bit and people thought that they were, like, super alternative and hardcore because they listened to 21 Pilots and now they went in this super poppy direction and now they're pissed about it. That's just my opinion. Um... Uh, but, I mean, regardless of, you know, how people feel about it, they did do a very poppy album. It's very different. It's definitely not their best album by any means. I would... What what would I give that title to? I mean, I'm partial to Blurry Face personally, but I think... At the same time, I would give that to their self-titled album. Um, I think that would be considered their best album overall. But it is a good album. I enjoy it. And I'll definitely return to it. I'll definitely listen to it front to back a couple more times. Um, And it's on my playlist. It'll be in my cycle of music that I listen to because I enjoy it and I enjoy 21 Pilots and that's okay (laughs) anyways now I'm just rambling so yeah I guess that is all that was kind of fast that was another thing that I felt like every time I've listened to this album so far it's just like it goes by too goddamn quickly like I want a longer album it's only like 30 something minutes and to me that's just not long enough but like it just felt kind of like I was rushing through the album almost but it is still something (laughs) you know it's still new music and I think we can all appreciate that with uh, the lack of that within the past year but uh, anyways quick little 
episode, I guess. But anyways, I keep saying anyways. I guess I just gotta end the thing, don't I? Yeah. Okay, it's time to do that then. I hope you enjoyed my album breakdown. Um, and if you want to follow the pod, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at The Bias Critic, and on Twitter at Critic Biased. I will talk to you next Sunday, kind of. T- next Sunday will be my second part uh, of last week's episode with my brother Logan. So, come back for that if you feel that you'd like to. Uh, cause I would like it if you did. Anyways, I'm still dragging this on and on and on. Have a great rest of your week. I will talk to you next week. Uh, bye!